Hi guys, Tina here. So I am here with six layouts that I made with the scrapbook kit that I put together from my stash. So I will show you kind of what I have left and then I'll show you my layouts. So for the pattern papers, I could have probably made one more layout, but I just did not like what I had left. So I have this piece of yellow. I have a pretty good size of the wood grain, so I'm definitely going to use this on another layout, just not with the kit that I put together. I have a few little bits and pieces, um, some paper from that hexagon, some of the Studio Calico paper, some of that floral. Um, I do have a piece of this flower, the floral pattern, and then I did use quite a few 6x6, six six, and you'll see in one of the layouts where I used a lot of my pattern paper. <clears throat> so I did use some 6x6, six six, not very many, but I did use some. Then. The cutout cards, the 3x4 cards, I was terrible at using those. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of those left. Then um, I did use, I think, one of these DIY Simple Story stickers. I used one of these from the Jelly Bean Soup, Wise Words. I did use one butterfly, or just the butterfly out of there. Nothing out of this sticker sheet. I used one out of this Cosmo Cricket, Cricket um, Tiny Text. Then I did use some of this from the Amy Tangerine Remarks. I used some of these from the Heidi Swap sticker pack. I did use some of these. I did use some sequins, enamel dots some die cuts that were in my storage containers where I keep my wood veneers and stuff. Um, I did not use anything from this Wild and Free Glitz design. I used some of these from the My Minds Eye Cut and Paste. I did use one of these photo overlays. I did use quite a few, oh, here's two more journaling cards that I didn't use, or those cutout cards. I did use some of the Recollections um, photo frames though. Um, as for the embellishments that were in these kits, I did actually use quite a few of them. It doesn't look like it because there's always so many in these packs, but I did use um, some of those. And I actually did use one that had gold in it. I was actually kind of surprised that I used that. So, for my layouts, they are all 12 by 12. I did use some 12 by 12 cardstock, and I will share with you what I did on those. So, the first layout that I made. Um, I cut the wood grain paper and then I also cut down the floral paper and I backed it on a piece of cardstock. That way I could still have more of the pattern papers to use. So basically I used some of the washi tape that I had picked out with this kit. Um, all of these vellum pieces I used and that's where I used a lot of stickers like this one says happy, write this down, you and me, 2011 moments and then I used the circle clear acetate ones with like the starburst in them. I don't know how well you can see that but this is a picture of my son and I. We had went to the zoo. This was back in 2011. So I used one of the Heidi Swap stickers that say always cherish every moment and this is from that Cosmo Cricut tiny text. I also used one of the arrows from Heidi Swap, the documented sticker from the Amy Tangerine Remarks, some handmade enamel dots, and then I had these candy dots that I added because I actually only had the orange and the yellow, but it needed something else, so I added those candy dots to it. I also did use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. So there's my first layout. I like how that one turned out. The next one is I just used the solid pink cardstock. That was the back of it. Um, added some of the washi tape, so I used all three of the washi tape that I had picked out. Here's where I used that Amy Tangerine butterfly. Um, so I cut out the picture of Gidget and then I used one of the Recollections photo frames and then I put pattern paper over top of it from the 6x6 paper pad. And here is one of the Heidi Swap stickers that say sweet or cuteness. Um, I used my Lawn Fawn Stitch Circle die and I journaled on there. And then these pattern papers were all from 6x6 six six paper, and basically I just cut them into a banner, and I used my 1.5 inch 
square punch on the end to do the banner part. So that one's really simple, but I really like how it came out and that teal really pops on that page so this really that photo stands out. So there's that one. Then the next one that I did was this one right here. So I used um, all of the yellow paper on this one. I did use this chalk edger from Prima, which is vintage pink. And I did ink up some of the um, papers on here. And this is a picture of my grandpa and my step-grandma. She passed away. It was a little over a year ago from Alzheimer's. This was my grandpa's 80th birthday party. That's my aunt, my uncle, and then my dad. So that's all three of my grandpa's children. And then I just layered up the pattern paper, and then here I just cut some strips off of the wood grain paper, backed it on there. This was a 6x6 six six pattern paper, and I actually cut it in half, so I wasn't using the full sheet, and I just hand cut that piece. Here's the photo frame from Recollections, um, the sticker, It's a Party, and that's where I use the floral, or this embellishment with the gold. And I actually really like how that looks on there. Here I did a couple more banners. I put the sticker Family Friend, Family Fun from the Heidi Swap sticker pack. And then I just journaled down there at the bottom. The photo is on Pop Dots to give it a little bit of dimension. So there's layout number three. Layout number four, I have to say, is probably one of my favorites. Um, I got this idea off Pinterest. So what I did here is I used that ombre um, pattern paper that has that looks like the paint swatches that you can get at any like Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, any of those places. Um, so I used that as my background paper. Here I added these two pieces of 12 by 12. I cut them down into a circle and I just hand cut them out. I really like how it's not perfect. Um, I added a piece of white pattern paper. I did ink up some of that with the Prima Chalk Edger. Um, and then I used my Avery L dotted dies to cut out my pictures in the banners. And this is where a lot of my pattern paper went to um, for my six out of the six by six pad, is I just cut out a whole bunch of different pattern papers to fit around that circle. And I really like how that turned out. This piece right here that says today was actually from um, I had a couple pieces of um, embellishments in those containers that I keep my wood veneers and stuff in. So I did actually grab that one out that says today. This was July of 2012. There's a picture of my dad, my nephew, my son and my nephew, me, and then my dad. We had went four-wheeling this day. And the water was really low. And it was just perfect for um, fishing. So that's what we did. And this totally the perfect day this actually had an arrow on the end from the Heidi Swap sticker, but I cut it off because I didn't want the arrow facing that way. Added some of the vellum hearts that came in one of the embellishment packs. Added some moonshine sequins from Simon Says Stamp. And then down here, this love paper clip I had in one of my containers as well. So I wanted to use that. So this is by far one of my favorite layouts. So there's that one really like how that one turned out. Then the next one, um, this is layout number five. I used, um, I did cut the pattern papers in half so I could use more of these pattern papers in another layout. <clears throat> so I just glued it onto a piece of white cardstock. I used some washi tape here and then this, um, the stars and the butterflies and this choose happy is from one of the that Heidi Swap embellishment kit that I used. And then this as well. And this is a picture of my husband and I. And I used one of those um, crepe paper photo overlays. And I did use the Heidi Swap pink color shine and did some splatters on the top and bottom on the yellow. And then I just journaled down here. So there's that one. And then the last one. This one, I had so many pictures for this event. It was my nephew's fourth birthday party. And I didn't want to have tons of layouts of it. So what I did is I used the circle pattern paper and I cut all the pictures out in circles. And I thought that was really, really cool because I would have had tons of layouts just from this day. So um, I used that Studio Calico striped paper. I also did use the 
mint green Heidi Swap color shine to do a little bit of splattering on the yellow part. So I just cut everything out with my Lawn Fawn stitch circle, stitched circle die and just cut out all different sizes and put our pictures on there. These little picture, pictures, you can kind of see on this one they had a cardboard cutout that you could put your face in that you were like part of a construction crew because that was the theme of his birthday party. So everybody that I got a picture of, I put them on there. I just thought that was really cute. And there's my nephew with his um, pinata, my grandma, my cousin. They were dressed up in the stuff that she had there to dress up to take pictures. Here are the two boys in this big bounce house. They had this big skid loader bounce house for his birthday. It was so cool. My grandma and I, my grandma has blue lips because she was eating cake. It was so funny. But I really like this layout. It just, all the pictures are here on one page, and it's, it's really cool. It's different, but I like it. And I did add some of the vellum pieces from one of the embellishment packs. And then here is where I use that DIY Simple Stories sticker that says Fabulous Family. And then here's where I use that Jelly Bean Soup sticker. And then I just journaled here. So those are my layouts. I had lots of fun creating those layouts, and it just seemed like once I put my kit together, it was just grabbing pictures and just putting stuff together. So it really helped me use some of the stuff in my stash. Um, I wanted to get these layouts shared with you guys because I'm going to start putting together another scrapbook kit. And with this next kit, I'm going to try to do a couple um, process videos for you guys. So... I just wanted to share those six layouts with you guys, and thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, and commenting, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!